I hereby declare Planet Wind Farm for open. Hey. Hey. Luckily, it was windy 11 kilometers off England's Kent coast Thursday, where people celebrated the opening of the world's largest offshore wind farm. Thanet can generate enough energy for some 200,000 homes. The government says wind now provides the UK with 4% of its electricity. All this comes at a cost, more than an estimated $1.5 billion to install the 100 turbines. Some of that coming from the subsidies Britain is lavishing on companies to beef up the country's renewable portfolio. It's not only in the UK, but a large part of our investments is in the UK and will be in the UK. Are you worried that subsidies are going to be cut in this uh, era of austerity? I don't think uh, subsidies will be cut. I think it's an important uh, area for, uh, for the politicians in, in every country to meet their targets for, for 2020. Britain's energy secretary freely admits Britain lags far behind most of Europe when it comes to renewable energy. We need a lot more from renewables because, as you can see today, there's one thing we've got a lot of in this country. We may not have a lot of sunshine, but we sure have got a lot of wind. And right now, a lot of subsidies, though, and you're not, you're, you're not able to say that they won't cut some of the subsidies in the next budget. Well, the key thing, obviously, with subsidies, the, the economic reason for giving subsidies and the only legitimate economic reason for giving subsidies is to bring an infant industry up to the scale where it can wash its own face and it can compete commercially, and that's what we're doing. But Thanet is unlikely to stay the world's largest offshore wind farm for long. There are plans for a much bigger one just a few kilometers north from here. It could be three times this size. And the industry is planning to use much bigger turbines in the next generation offshore wind farms. But with so many farms planned, demand is actually pushing offshore build costs higher. Vestas made the turbines used in Thanet. We have seen a, a rise in cost on the construction side. Yes, it has been going up. Going forward, I do expect what we call the cost of energy or life cycle costs to come down. It will come down over time. One thing that may help bring down costs, more ports in the region, like Belgium's Oosten, are upgrading in order to handle the massive turbines and relieve the bottlenecks. Well, there'll just be a few ports that have the possibility and the space to invest in it, and I think they all should do, because what we see here is an, an industry developing beyond comprehension almost. We are going to build 10,000 windmills in this area only. That is, if governments continue to subsidize renewables. Jim Bolton, CNN, off Kent, England.